You guys know I love playing with man pages. Well, a couple of weeks back, I came across a really interesting script called Macho. And this fella here named Highfish, he wrote this blog post sharing with the world his script for this Macho man page viewer. And if I pull up a terminal here and I can actually show you guys what Macho does, let me go ahead and run the script. This is Macho. It is a man page viewer, and if I just start typing, maybe I'm searching for LS, or maybe I want to search through this fuzzy finder list here. You see I get a preview window, by the way, <laughs> over here on the right side. It, it's really cool, and if I just hit enter on whatever it is I'm searching for, maybe I was searching for LSCP. You know, I could hit enter, and I could actually read the man page. Of course, Q for me to quit out of the man page. So that is basically what the Macho Man script is. It's man pages with a little bling. So if I go back to his blog post here, you can see that what we're going to do in the script, and I will show you the script here in just a second, but it's a very simple bash script or, or shell script. He's writing it in POSIX compliant shell, and it combines apropos, man, the grip, sid, and alt commands, the sort command, fuzzy finder, of course. And if you wanted to, you could even implement this in a graphical run launcher such as dmenu and rofi. And I may do that as well. Let me actually show you what the script looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in Vim. So let me open up macho.sh here on my system. So let me open up a, another terminal here and I'm going to clear the screen and let me zoom in here so you guys can see exactly what's going on because I thought it, this script is so interesting. I thought I would explain to you exactly what this shell script is doing to get these really cool effects here, you know, in this macho man page viewer. So the first thing we want to do is I think in the script, the first thing, the most important section is actually this section here, this function here, manual equals, and then it equals this very long command here, apropos, piped into grip, piped into awk, piped into sort, piped into fuzzy finder, and finally piped into sid. Exactly what is he doing? Well, let's describe all of these commands. First of all, you guys know what the man command is. Man followed by a program name gives you the man page for that program. So I could do man ls and get the man page for the ls command. Apropos searches man pages for a string. All your man pages. So if I did apropos space and did, I don't know, man. Let's search for all the man pages that have this particular string in them, man. And there is a bunch of man pages that have that three letter string man in it. So we had a bunch of stuff returned. One thing you need to know what he's doing here, apropos dash s, that is a flag as far as the sections of your man pages. Because when you look at a man page, let me go back to the ls man page, you have sections. You see ls and then in the parentheses here, one, that is section one. And just because it has section one, there, there are a bunch of possible sections in a man page. You could have sections zero through, I think, eight. Uh, I'm a little fuzzy on what all the sections are, but man pages have various sections and those sections kind of uh, define what that section is about. For example, if your section is about gaming and gameplay it will be in section whatever you know it'll have a certain number that it should be in that man page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this entire function here in the terminal here and let's start uh, one section at a time and, and show you exactly what is going on here so the first thing we want to do apropos and the the period sign basically let's get all the man pages on the system returned in apropos so he's doing a little, something a little different than what i just did with apropos period you know he's putting some other information in there but it's basically the apropos command and what he's doing he's then piping it into grip giving it these flags uh, lowercase v capital e and then he's doing this uh, regular expression here and what it looks like he's doing is he's gripping out all the apropos uh, output that is section zero. He's basically trying to get rid of everything that returns section zero. Because remember, the man pages have multiple sections that are possible, and the ones that have a section zero, I, I, I guess, don't really have any useful information. So he's just gripping all of that out. And let me clear the screen. And then he's piping that into awk. And the awk command that he's doing here, it looks like he is printing the second column 
and then he's putting some space between it and then he's printing the first column. So if I hit enter, basically it is reversing what was there before. If I go back to apropos just piped into grip, you see this is what it looked like before. Now we're alking just the first two columns and then we're printing the second column, which is the number in the parentheses first. Then we're printing the first column second. Hope that makes sense. That's what he's doing with that alt command. So he gets this list looking like that. Then he's going to take all of that and he's going to pipe it through sort and he's sorting this. So he's going to have it in alphabetical order, of course, or in this case, numerical order, because he's sorting the first column, which is the numbers. So now, you know, you're getting the sorted from zero through eight. And there is also a N section as well in man pages. So N technically is the last when you're sorting it alphanumerically here. Clear the screen one more time. And then finally, what he's doing is he's piping all of that into Fuzzy Finder. So now this is Fuzzy Finder. So it's the same that we got before, but now it's piped into this Fuzzy Finder prompt so you can actually do a fuzzy search. So I could start typing for something like LS. If I hit LS, nothing happens because... You know, what we did here in the command line, we really didn't tell the terminal here exactly what we wanted to do once we selected something. But anyway, then finally what he is doing is he's going to take all of that apropos, piped into grip, piped into alt, piped into sort, piped into fuzzy finder. And then he's piping this into Sid with this regular expression here. And what it looks to me like he's doing here is he's getting rid of some parentheses. Remember all the section numbers, the man page section numbers were wrapped in parentheses. So you had one wrapped in parentheses or N wrapped in parentheses. He's getting rid of those parentheses now. But that is actually not what happened there. Let me make sure that I did that correctly. I may have not pasted that correctly. And looking at this, I, I think I did actually copy it correctly. It, it does pull out the parentheses. The problem is when I run this command, you see we're piping apropos into grip, into awk, into sort, into fuzzy finder. We're never getting to the said part because once I select something into fuzzy finder, it, maybe it runs the said command to get rid of parentheses, but it's not really outputting anything. So we can't actually see what that's doing. So all of that is is working correctly and that's the main thing i needed to explain in the shell script <laughs> is what this is that defines manual here and then what we're going to do is we're going to get this manual return whatever it is we choose in the fuzzy finder list and we're going to run the command man on it so let me show you this in action once again so i'm going to run that macho shell script here and again, manual, it will be whatever we select in this list from this uh, function here, the apropos grip, alt sort, fuzzy finder, said function. And it's going to run said last once we actually select something. So if I type man, for example, and I select it, it's going to rip out the parentheses from man, for example, right here. If I select that, it's going to return instead of parentheses one man, it's just going to return one man. And what it's going to do, it's going to run the man command on that. I hope that makes sense. And it actually runs the man command on that. Because man will not run this right here. That is what it would be if we didn't have the said part in there. And of course that returns an error. But if I get rid of the parentheses because we piped it through said after we ran the fuzzy finder. And then we run man on what is returned in the manual function there. That actually works. And that's the most complicated part of the script here is this last section. It's actually the most important section of the script. The top half here is uh, interesting stuff, but mainly like this section here is actually for the preview window. So if I go back and run the script, what you're seeing over here, the preview window. So if I started typing something, I don't know, like Firefox, for example, or Fire CFG, you know, you get a little preview window of the man page. And that is what is going on in the top section of the script up here. Now that is all interesting, but what about piping all of this into something like D menu or Rofi? Well, you could do that as well. So let me cancel out of that. And I also have on my system this script here, macho-gui.shell. And it's very similar to the script we just read. The only difference is once we run this manual function, you know, and we select something, instead of piping it into Fuzzy Finder, you see the next to last step instead of Fuzzy Finder is now Rofi in this case. And I will show you this in Rofi. And then after we select whatever manual we select from the Rofi menu, it runs this command here, which 
opens a man page, it converts it into a PDF. <laughs> Very interesting. And then it pipes it into whatever PDF reader you have on your system. For me, I have Zathura on my system. So to show you this in action here, I'm going to quit out of that. And let's go ahead and run macho-gui here. And you see it launches Rofi, and I could do a search for a man page. Maybe I wanted to read the man page on DD if I could find it here in the Rofi menu. And once I select it, it actually opens it in Zathura here. And you see it converted the man page into a PDF and then immediately launched it into Zathura. And I personally think that is fantastic. I think that is just a really neat way to read man pages. I may go ahead and try to incorporate that into my workflow as far as I have a man page prompt. Uh, actually, I have man page prompts in all of my window managers. I think I have D menu scripts that will launch man pages, search man pages for me in most of my window manager configs. And in an Xmonad, Xmonad has a specific prompt built into it that you can use to search for man pages. But I, I kind of like this, this ability to convert it into a PDF first and then read the PDF. I, I think that is probably the way to go. Now, because I don't use Rofi, you know, I use D menu. What I need to do is I'm going to go in here and edit this a little bit so instead of Rofi I'm gonna pipe this into just D menu itself so all I really need to do is get rid of that right there I'm gonna write and quit and let's run the script again and now I'm getting D menu at the top here and then I could search for something maybe I wanted to search for I don't know the cat command arrow over to cat here and hit enter and I get the cat man page of course again as a PDF very cool. Now, for those of you that want to explore this particular uh, blog post a little more than what I did here on the video, because this was a very cursory overview of what he did, and all this blog post is, it's just some examples uh, of scripting. And I took his examples and I made them into my own little scripts here. And that's what I suggest you guys do. I'm going to link to this blog post in the show description. Again, this is basically a shell script, and it can be your own custom shell script. I mean, you can customize it to your heart's content. Depending on how complicated you want to make the shell script, you can really do, do a lot with a shell script like this. Now, before I go, I want to thank a few special people. I want to thank Michael, Gabe, Heplo, Nate, Corbinian, Mitchell, Entropy, UK, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Lewis, Omri, Paul, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. These guys are my highest tiered patrons. Without these guys, this episode you just watched about Macho Man, I've Got to Be a Macho, would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen, these are not the village people. These are my supporters over on on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode wouldn't have been possible. If you'd like to support my work, you'll find DT over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.